This is the Routine 2 video. It first sets the control register for rotation, size, X and Y position, which is the 700-200 center here. Then it sets the value of Z to 20. Well, that's how many points it's going to make. Then it sets the value of A to 960 and then divide, that, that's a total number of points in a circle, and then it divides that by Z. So at first it's going to divide it by 20 and A will become 48. 48 times 20 is the 960. That would make it go totally around a circle. Well, for I of 1 to I of Z, well, that's how many times it's going to create a vector that makes an XY position and puts it in X list and the Y value list. Each time it goes around, it changes direction by the value of A. So we said when it goes around 20 times, it will change it by 48. Go back and look at routine 1 to see that that's what it did. Then once it comes out of the loop, it's going to take the list of X values and Y values and the value of Z and make a dot list so that it can draw a polygon and fill it. Well, here's where that is. First, it's going to make the color green. All right, so what it's going to do is make this circle over here Z being 20. Well, what if we change the value of Z? Well, first we would have to be able to get to this program and put it in RT. So first we'll go on the trail. And I know at the beginning of that routine there's a halt, so I'm going to advance to the halt. Then I'm going to advance 9 into the routine. And I'm going to click on the tab for that routine so that I can tell it to go there. I end the trail. I go to RT. All right, now you see this program is listed in update mode up here, so I can change it. All I want to do is see different values of Z. That's how many points it's going to make going around the circle. It's now set at 20. If I said I only wanted 10 points in the circle, I get a 10-sided polygon. So now we know when it was made 20 sides, it looked like a circle. But it really was a bunch of straight lines. Now if we reduce that even more, let's, let's, we're going to change it to just 5. I'm going to put a 5 there. It's first going to be 15. There's 15, but I'm going to take the one away and make it 5. There it's 5-sided. Now it'll be easy enough for me to make it 3-sided. Notice, all we're changing is the value of Z. That decides how many times it's going to create points, but it also divides Z into 960 to get the value of A, which it uses to change the direction of the vector. Alright, first it went straight up, then it went straight down here, then it went straight over here. That's how it made the triangle. Well, we'll end RT, and that is the end of Routine 2 video.